I put myself last. I put the business first. I didn't get oxygen for me. It ended up messing up my health. This is a time for you to just look back and just be honest with it. What got in the way in this past year? Fighters, we're kicking off a new year. This is our first episode of 2024. And I wanted to talk for a few minutes on how you can win bigger in 2024. Four. Chances are you're looking back at 2023. Maybe you had a great year, but not everything went your way the way you wanted it to. Maybe you had a shitty year and you don't want to repeat it. Wherever you're at, my goal for you is after a few minutes here today, I'm going to equip you with three questions that you can ask, your, uh, ask yourself. Money won't solve this. Two, make 2024 the best business year you've ever had in your life. The first thing I'm going to ask you to do, put yourself in a time machine. I don't know why I'm touching my head right now. And fast forward to December 31st, 2024, a little less than a year from now when you're watching this and ask yourself what would have needed to happen for me to say that this is the best year I've ever had had in my business. I want you to think about that, guys. Don't just like knee-jerk reaction. Give some thought to this. I asked this question to our battleground group. Here's some of the, the answers I got. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read for you here just to give you some ideas. One person said, if we finished all of our jobs at the estimated times and didn't go over budget, it would be the best year ever. Somebody else said, I need to find a project manager. Somebody else was, I got to finally hit my sales goals. Every year I set sales goals and I don't hit my sales goals blah, blah, blah. Another member said, it'll be the best year in business I've ever had if I stop taking the bait and doing custom projects. Somebody else said, take control of my health. So whatever it is for you, I want you to just take some time, set yourself up for success, have a clear end in mind of what a win looks like. Narrow it down to one thing. What is the truly one thing that needs to happen for 2024 to be the best year I've ever had in business? Second question now, with that goal in mind or that having the best business year ever in mind. Next question is, well, what got in the way of that in 2023? You might not need a new goal for 2024. You just need some clarity around the goal and you need to make sure that you understand what got in your way of making that a great year. Back to our battleground group, the person who said, I got to finish jobs at the estimated times and not go over budget. And then when they answered the next, next question, what got in the way, they simply said, not having regular crew meetings to plan our jobs. That got in the way. We just didn't make that a priority. Guys, this is just a fact finding exercise that you're doing. Or maybe the person who needed a PM didn't create a process for recruiting. That's what got in the way. The person who says, I, I need to hit my sales goals. What got in the way was a low closing rate. The one who talked about doing custom projects, stop doing custom project said he said yes to the wrong jobs out of desperation and everything became a custom project. It was just more problematic across the board. The person who talked about, I need to take control of my health. What got in the way of that? I put myself last. I put the business first. I didn't get oxygen for me. It ended up messing up my health. So guys, this is a time for you to just look back and just be honest with it. What got in the way in this past year? Which leads us to the third question. Based on the answers above, what will you do differently in 2024? I'm I'm sticking with the pattern here with the examples I've given you because I want to I want you to, I want to show how these piece together. Person who said they need to finish jobs at the estimated times would make it a best year. What got in the way? Not having regular crew meetings to plan the jobs. Based on your answers above, what will you do differently? Planning meetings, clear scopes, daily plan with the crew, daily updates at the end of the day. That's what I'm going to do differently. The person who's not hitting their sales goals they, and has a low closing rate, they said I'm going to do more consistent role plays. The other person with their health said, you know, I put myself last, so this year I'm kicking off the year and I'm going to do 75 hard. Whatever it is for you, follow this process, then it's on you to execute. But this is going to give you the clarity that you need of where to put your attention first and foremost. When you ask that clarity question of what needs to happen in 2024, that one answer is going to be your lighthouse for the year. Everything you do should be revolved around getting that. You got to make sure you know what's in the way and you got to make sure that you know what you're going to do differently. So take a few minutes, get clarity on what'll make this the greatest year for you in your business. Then take a few minutes and tell the truth about the past year. Why you didn't get there? Be honest, own your shit. Finally, take a few minutes to commit and map out the different actions you are going to take moving forward in this year so that you can actually hit the target that you set. I appreciate you. Let's kick the shit out of 2024, my friends. You guys rock. I gotta roll. I'm out.